Good morning everyone. It is looking great right now. Temperatures are in the 50s and the 60s. The radar doesn't show a single drop of rain on it. Viper cash continues to keep it dry through the rest of this morning. So brunch with mom this morning looks pretty good. Lunch with mom this afternoon looks good and dinner come this evening looks fantastic. High pressure is parked right on top of us. That will lead to a sunny sky. Uh, not a single drop of rain on radar all day long and temperatures slowly but surely warming up. So let's take a look at that Mother's Day forecast as we head into our virtual kitchen here and go to the virtual refrigerator with all the mom cards on it. Well, Mother's Day looks sunny. It looks picture perfect. Just fabulous. 81 degrees this afternoon. So you couldn't really ask for a better Mother's Day forecast here. This is this is picture perfect. It really is 80 degrees in Vero Beach this afternoon, 81 degrees in West Palm and 82 degrees in Boca, about 82 to 83 degrees around the rim of the lake. Humidity will be low, so it will feel really nice outside too. Boaters, one and a half foot seas right now this afternoon, one to two foot seas. Uh, it is possible that some spots could get up to three feet though. In the waterways, a light chop, high tide 1024 this morning, low tide. 415 this afternoon. Your beach forecast looks fantastic. Surf will be flat. Rip current threat not there, and the lightning threat isn't there either. So, to summarize, your Mother's Day forecast is beautiful. Sunny, dry, low humidity, just a light breeze out of the east northeast, high of 81. Then, overnight, it is clear and it is quiet, and it's a little warmer than what we're dealing with right now. Right now, we have temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Overnight, tomorrow morning, we'll be in the mid 60s, I think, area wide. So a gorgeous Mother's Day on tap for us, and then it continues to be nice as we head into next week. Still really nice as we go into Tuesday as well. Uh, high of 84 degrees once we get to Tuesday. You do notice that the temperatures um, will increase and the rain percentages will increase as well. Just a little bit, 10% for the first half of next week, and then they increase to 20% as we wrap up the work week. So isolated showers at best towards Thursday and Friday. Those highs will be in the mid 80s by Wednesday, and it is possible that we could be in the mid to upper 80s come Thursday and Friday of next week. Of course, when the temperatures start to rise too, the humidity will start to return as well. So while it is delightful now, the warm, humid South Florida heat will return later on this week.